Thanks, Chairman, and thank you again, Attorney General. Uh, I'm going to go to a topic that was addressed earlier by Senator Blumenthal and uh, Senator Graham, and that is the question of the uh, freezing, seizing, and forfeiture of Russian oligarch and kleptocrat assets. One of the problems that we are running into is that for the highly valuable assets that can be seized from the Russian oligarchs, like massive yachts or Fabergé eggs or other uh, works of very expensive art, the value is well above $500,000. And right now we have an administrative forfeiture procedure that applies for uh, assets that are valued only up to $500,000. Above that, you have to go through a different procedure. The nutshell way that I think about this is that the simpler administrative forfeiture procedure allows the government to proceed in rem against the asset. And people have to show up if they have a claim to the asset. It's a little bit like what the Department of Justice did with botnets. They had a proceeding in rem against the botnet, and anyone who laid claim to that botnet and asserted a right not to have it taken down they were welcome to show up in court and present themselves. They probably would have gone off in handcuffs, but they certainly had that right. With respect to the assets above $500,000 that are associated with the Russian oligarchs who are associated with the really criminal war that Putin has launched into Ukraine, uh, we would like to see the law changed. Uh, Senator Graham supports this. Senator Blumenthal and I support this. We have legislation to support this. And uh, I just wanted to take my moment here with you to make sure that you and I, the Marshal Service, uh, your forfeiture offices are all properly aligned so that we can move quickly to get this changed. At the moment, having to identify the owner of an asset, which is often hidden in Russian nesting doll layers of uh, faraway bank accounts, shell corporations, um, Cyprus uh, holding companies um, really puts a major crimp in our ability to proceed fairly. And I don't think there's any national interest or public interest in having Russian oligarchs who've supported this war treated better than American citizens simply because their assets are more valuable. So uh, would you please tell your team to uh, green light uh, working with us to get this bill passed quickly out of this committee and uh, into legislation on the floor. As you can imagine, I'm wholeheartedly in favor of the team working with you on this. Uh, as you know, we recently, thanks to uh, the work of the Congress, were able, I was able to um, uh, certify for transfer to Ukraine uh, the uh, money that was seized from uh, one oligarch, Molofiev, and most recently, uh, the, our task force klepto capture succeeded in forfeiting $75 million from uh, Victor Vexelberg. Um, uh, they have done an, an enormous amount of work to find nesting within nesting within nesting of uh, uh, shell corporations. It would be easier if that weren't required. Um, so we'd be happy to work with your team on this. Yeah, Thank you course. very much. Thank you, Chairman.